Virgos, how is everyone doing? This is Akia from December Divine 555. Hello to all my December warriors, especially my Virgos. This is your intuitive reading for this period. Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. To any new viewers, welcome to my channel. To everyone, I'm sending you my peace and love. Once again, this is Virgo's intuitive reading for this period. First and foremost, happy birthday to every Virgo out there. I love you. Stay grounded. Wishing you prosperity, abundance and love and all that your heart desires and that all of your dreams are manifested. That being said, we're going to jump right into the energy of your reading. Quick spiel. This is an intuitive reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There will be a link in the description below um, if you um, have issues or you don't know your natal chart placements. The energy in the reading can be reversed. Um, so take the energy as it resonates. This reading may not resonate with every Virgo out there. It can't possibly. It's a general reading for the collective. Okay. Um, like I said, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And um, cross watchers are welcome. Um, if you are watching this video to get information on a Virgo and you're not a Virgo, then you are a cross watcher. And um, I may pick up on your energy throughout the reading. Um, take the reading, um, sorry, take the messages as they resonate. Um, and um, all the best. So, starting out right now for my lovely Virgos, we have the Hermit card from the Good Tarot. Okay? And I drew two clarifying cards from the Fire Edition of the Playing Card decks. And this particular deck um, is represented by um, fire and like a phoenix rising from the ashes is what this deck is kind of representing. So with your energy, okay, um, Virgo, on um, the pre-shuffle and meditation and your overall energy for the reading is six of cups okay Pisces Cancer Scorpio and um, energy and then the page of swords Gemini Libra Aquarius energy okay so a lot of Virgos right now are experiencing a lot of nostalgia a lot of you guys are thinking back on the past whether that's past relationship whether that's you know childhood memories whether that is just nostalgia on the past or past choices okay um with the page of swords a lot of you guys are in very you know contemplative mode thinking this is virgo season we do have a lot of planets in virgo um venus mars venus mars the sun and mercury are all and Virgo right now and so um, 
you know, Mars is the planet of combativeness, sometimes sexual energy, um, intense energy. And um, of course, Mercury is the planet of communication. Mercury rules Virgo. Um, Venus is um, finances and love. And of course, the sun itself. Okay, and masculine energy. So a lot of intensity for you guys, okay? Um, during this period and a lot of reflection okay there may be people watching you on social media that you may be watching others on social media you may be over analyzing situations of the past okay um, just picking up on a lot of energy of a lot of loss okay a lot of a lot of um, pain okay um, a lot of, of, of thoughts on lost opportunity and, um, regrets. Okay. But we're going to jump right into the reading. Um, my intuitive readings, um, can be pretty long in the past and I am working on something new this month, this period, um, by making the readings a little, um, more quality pack but a little um shorter um just to see how that goes across um with including as much education and um healing as i can in the reading okay so off the top we have you virgo okay um from the good tarot we have the hermit which came out um i'm kind of using the good tarot today as almost like an oracle message for you guys okay to clarify the hermit um we have the eight of cups and the knight of swords okay so i do feel as though i'm going to read this message from the good Tarot, so um that we have something to tie into this message for my my virgos okay but just going off with the the hermit means in the traditional tarot it's seeking spiritual guidance shedding a light on your choices reevaluating your actions that have led you to this point in your life maybe acting on intuition versus instinct but really going within and that's, you know, that classic hermit mood going within. The hermit card represents you, Virgo. Going within to seek answers. Asking the divine to guide you on shedding light on a certain situation in your life. Coming out um, with the eight of, um, eight of hearts or the eight of cups. Okay, it's asking you, Virgo, to really reevaluate what you have in your life and um whether or not you're happy or not and going forward to seek that nine of cups to go head toward the ten of cups okay eight of cups indicates um being unfulfilled and really trying to find um and go off in search of of happiness okay of fulfillment and um, the Knight of Swords, okay, is um, air energy. It's rushing in with some sort of truth. It's rushing in um, straight in with some sort of truth. Okay. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Eight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And of course, Virgo energy here in the center. All right. Um, moving forward to go towards something that fulfills you and coming forward with some truth after going within. Okay. It's overall what um, we're going to really be um, trying to pull together for you in this, in this reading, um, this monthly intuitive reading for my Virgos. Remember...
overall energy, Six of Cups, and the Page of Swords. Someone is very curious. Someone is really in deep thought. Someone is um, really um, curious. Either someone is looking deeply into you, Virgo, or you are looking deeply into someone. Coupled with the Six of Cups, like I said, nostalgia. Um, this is past life, uh, uh, soul connection energy here. This could be family. This can be children. This is nostalgia. This is happy memories. This is going back in time. This is reevaluating. Okay. Moving on to fulfillment and charging ahead with some sort of truth. Eight of Cups and Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck of that clarifying of the um, fire playing card edition is the Ten of Wands. There's a burden, okay? You've taken on a lot of burdens, Virgo, and this is the end of a cycle. Okay. Hermit. Good tarot. Number nine, spirituality. Number nine is nearing the end of a cycle, being at the last leg of a race, approaching the end of a cycle or a battle, or a phase. Hermit, okay, time out. Sometimes it's necessary to take time out for regrouping and introspection. This is a temporary experience, but one necessary for my growth. When I step back, retreat, regroup, and renew, I have a clear perspective on everything in my life. It's time to take a step back. It's time to reevaluate. It's time to get a new perspective or go. Okay so that you can make some clear decisions, so that you can take a really good look at what has happened up to this point, 333 on the clock, and where you are wanting to proceed forward and what direction you wanna go. Bottom of the good tarot deck, 10 of water. And I want to read this for you, Virgo, because some of the energy leading up to this point in your current energy is all reversals. And it's it's a lot of loss that's ha that has taken place, a lot of anxiety. And I want to read this good energy, this bottom of the deck of the good tarot, just because I feel led to. Ten of water image here of the of the Buddha statue and the I think the water lilies I think you know that's red maybe that's you know the root chakra maybe um there are some blockages in the root chakra that's that's passion 
that's something that you're seeking. Emotional fulfillment. Ten of Cups is... This is like representing the Ten of Cups in the traditional tarot, but this is a Ten of Water in the good tarot. But Ten of Cups obviously is complete emotional fulfillment, happiness, balance, serenity, peace, good fortune, well-being. <clears throat> All is well with the world and with me. Well-being is my natural state everything i need comes to me easily and effortlessly i feel joy and express it to others as i look around and see all the love that we share i take pleasure in all i have accomplished whenever attention whatever attention i receive or don't receive I am serene, for I know full well what it took for me to get where I am. I celebrate myself and all who traveled the road with me and feel grateful to Spirit for being my companion always. Virgo, appreciate who you are, where you are, and how you got to where you are, and who helped you along the way. And open your eyes to what you have and where you can go when you allow yourself to appreciate and acknowledge what the divine has for you and what the divine has in store for you. Love yourself, appreciate yourself and you will have the serenity, peace and good fortune and well-being that you so desire and seek is what I'm getting from this card. And this is just the bottom of the deck energy. Okay. Your energy is the hermit card time to go within time to get a new perspective okay so we're gonna jump right into your your energy leading up to this point in your current energy Okay. Below is where we'll do the energy of who is coming in for you. Virgo. This is your energy here, okay? Ten of Pentacles. It's in reverse. Okay. This is lack. This is burden. This is loss. Virgo, you feel judged. You feel lonely. Remember, the energies can be reversed, okay? So even though... This is your current energy or the energy leading up to this point. You know, the roles can be reversed. This could be how someone else feels about you. Okay, so take it as it resonates. But there has been a lot of loss, financial loss. Okay. And... Your overall energy surrounding the reading is the Page of Swords and the Six of Cups. So you are in this deep, nostalgic um, energy, looking back. It's 
Six of Cups is either family or a past life connection or um, something surrounding children. Okay. But there is a dissatisfaction. You have the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So you're trying to move forward from a difficult situation from the past or currently um you're, you're you're moving forward eight of cups towards some sort of fulfillment because you're unhappy and you want to move forward towards some sort of truth that's not being revealed at this time Okay. So yes, Ten of Pentacles, loss, pain, dissatisfaction, burdened. All right. Ten of Cups in reverse. Piscean, Scorpio Cancer, water energy here. You're unhappy. Over a broken relationship. You feel incomplete, misaligned could be something involving um, family or something from your childhood or something involving a child um, but yeah these two cards coming out this is, this is complete misalignment just unbalanced in emotions, lacking in stability and material wealth. And then you also have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, going to the Nine of Cups, coupled with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, this is just... Surrounding a family situation or surrounding a relationship, there has been a feeling that there has been no harmony within this dynamic. unrealistic expectations, um, dissatisfaction, greed, materialism, pain, and just loss all around. Goodness, here we go. Someone may have lost a job Someone may have um, had a divorce or separation. Somebody could be homeless. But either way, <clears throat> Aries, Libra, Gemini, specifically Gemini, with this uh, Nine of Swords card here lots of pain lots of distress sleepless nights anxiety loss of sleep nightmares someone feels haunted by the past Someone feels haunted by the truth 
and someone feels anxiety about trying to move forward. Knight of Swords in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Okay, we already have the Knight of Swords upright, clarifying the Hermit. Going into deep reflection at this period and you know, moving forward with, you know, Eight of Cups to reveal the truth about something after going within hermit mode. Okay. But to clarify this overall energy here, Knight of Swords in reverse. Someone is having a difficult time doing that. Someone is having a difficult time, um... with communicating. Someone is, being, is impatient and feels disorganized and at a loss um, with how to move forward from this loss and pain. Okay, so we're going to Throw some cards on who's coming through for Virgo. Who's coming through um, for you, Virgo, in this reading? Wow. Two of Cups as I split the deck here. Who's gonna come through for Virgo here? Who is coming through for Virgo? What is coming through for Virgo for this period? A Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo, um, a Queen of Pentacles energy in reverse is coming through, okay, for you, and we will see what else is coming through. What else is coming through for Virgo? Who else is coming through for Virgo? Four of Cups in reverse. Who and what else is coming through for my Virgos? For this period, who else is coming through for Virgo? Who is coming through for Virgo? What? Okay. Bottom of the deck, strength in reverse. This is interesting. Okay. So in your current energy Virgo, you're going through a lot of loss and pain misaligned, unhappy, unhealthy, loss, loss of job, loss of relationship, dissatisfaction, unrealistic expectations, and anxiety, sleepless, night, sleepless nights, okay? You're needing to go within to really look within on your actions and get a new perspective on everything. There are people watching you or you're watching someone else with a page of swords here. Lots of thoughts, nostalgic thoughts, past life situation or a family situation that you're trying to um, move forward from because um, you're looking for the Ten of Cups because 
this eight of cups here you're searching for something that you don't have you want truth um yeah you're, you're trying to go toward your ten of cups you're trying to move out of this anxiety pain and um discontentment now who's coming through for you virgo is a queen of pentacles okay in reverse this could be a earth sign uh taurus capricorn virgo coming out with the uh four of cups cancer pisces scorpionic energy here um there may be someone that you were dealing with, um, like I said, Cancer, Pisces, Scorp. I mean, sorry, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. In reverse, okay, this is an imbalanced person, um, someone who's superficial, possibly, um, a matriarch, a matriarch, a matriarchic energy. I never can say that properly. A matriarchic energy, um, or like I said, possibly a. A um, female energy um, but like I said can't just can't um, nothing's in retrograde I don't know why I <laughs> can't even um, get these words out but um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn okay feminine energy possibly someone who was selfish um, superficial this could be a mother figure okay um or a partner but this energy um was very there was no give and take in the situation okay and coming out with the four of cups um possibly this situation or this person and this energy um created depression um this person you may not have been able to make happy um no matter what you have tried there may have been some unrealistic ex expectations revolving this person um this person could have been um angry uh, deceiving um There could be a lot of resentment um, in regards to this energy. Um, you or this person could have grown bored with this relationship, um, maybe felt as if um, Um, you or this other person could not manifest um, in this connection. Um, and someone felt as if there was not equal give and take and um, there's a lot of resentment, okay? Um, a lot of immaturity and the whole situation is just just no balance at all and someone just wasn't happy we also have a queen of wands okay Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is another feminine energy. Someone very aggressive, very um, domineering. Someone who may have 
stunted your growth, your creativity, um, someone you didn't use your intuition in regards to. Um, this energy is someone who is cold and aggressive and um, someone that you feel was uh, a burden. Virgo, you may feel like this feminine energy, this queen of wands in reverse, um, blocked your creativity, <laughs> blocked your intuition, blocked your finances, blocked your um, ability to plan and focus, and that you just couldn't make proper decisions with this person, with this energy around you. And it was just a huge, huge burden. Um, it was just this energy, this um, fire energy, um, possibly someone with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. Um, we also have the Queen of Pentacles, so it could have been, it could be a person who um, was Earth sign with fire in their chart, or a fire with Earth, or this could be two separate people. Okay, this could be a Earth sign mother figure, because you know the Queen of Pentacles is associated with um, matriarchic energy, and this um, Queen of Wands could be a partner. Or another person another feminine energy okay but either way <clears throat> there's a lot of burdens okay a lot of stress and you have come to the end of the road with these energies there's oppression there's pain and there's no manifestation and you literally don't have the strength to go on in this burden some situation there is like anger okay and almost rage and everyone in the situation has too much pride to acknowledge that the situation is over And of course, your final card, the Hermit in Reverse. Someone's acting on instinct and not trusting their intuition. In this energy, you feel isolated and depressed. Virgo. Someone no longer wants to stay in the situation someone's ready to move forward they don't want to accept a cup any longer okay no longer want to be a part of this domineering 
aggressive, cold, jealous energy. And someone has moved on or is prepared to move on from the situation. I was going to clarify. Ten of Cups in reverse for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Fool. Yeah, someone was quite careless. Um, negligent in the past didn't make the right choices okay in regarding a decision about their happiness clarify the nine of cups in reverse nine of cups in reverse Someone is transforming. Death card. Okay. Scorpionic energy here. Virgo, possibly, um, Dealing with a um, Scorpio or water energy, but there was much, um, a lot of unhappiness and um, dissatisfaction, unrealistic expectations, and somebody is doing the work. Someone is trying to end this situation in the bad choices revolving love and and someone is trying to transition and release and move forward toward true happiness Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. The Hermit, again. Virgo, you are reevaluating re your choices. That have led you to this point you're going within you are 
trying to be enlightened on a new path and gain a new perspective. Seeking the answers from within, using your intuition, moving past the setbacks and the loss and coming to peace with moving forward. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of pain, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. But there have been mistakes of the past, there's been karma, and there's been judgment. But you are being called for a higher purpose. Okay. And um the astrological correspondence to a uh, judgment card is Pluto. Okay. That is scorpionic energy that does surround secrets. So, like I said, you did have <clears throat> The Eight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. You know, clarifying the Hermit card in the beginning about truth, moving forward, letting things go from the past. And... Revealing some truths that will help you move forward. Toward a rebirth and freedom. Who is the queen, who is the queen of pentacles? the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Who's the Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles was the matriotic energy, feminine energy. Um, the Queen of Pentacles um, in reverse, superficial, reclusive, creating imbalances. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is the Nine of Wands. Somebody is defensive. Yeah, there is somebody who is highly defensive, causing hesitation in regards to you, Virgo, moving forward toward your truth and someone Who, okay, Nine of Wands is in reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles came out with the Four of Cups in reverse. So Nine of Wands is just clarifying that. Someone in this feminine energy
is paranoid and is very much frustrated about you um, wanting to move forward not wanting to accept this situation any longer okay this repressed dark imbalanced superficial situation that is just full of loss misalignment regrets and burdens clarify the queen of wands who is the queen of wands clarify the queen of wands who is the queen of wands for Virgo. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Queen of Pentacles came out again. Okay. So the Queen of Wands, I mean the Queen of Pentacles upright is prosperity, pleasure, motherly, security, in reverse, it's imbalance, superficiality, and a misuse of matriarchic energy. Okay, someone who wants to keep someone reclusive. We already know that, Virgo, you are dissatisfied with the situation and someone is creating combativeness in regards to you moving forward the queen of pentacles came out again to clarify the queen of wands so there could be a queen of wands and a queen of pentacles maybe a mother figure and a romantic person or partner or anyone <clears throat> in this Queen of Wands energy, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay, but being coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. This is what clarified the Queen of Wands, okay? It's just clearly saying that there is a, or this could be a earth sign with fire, okay? That is a huge burden, but upright, the Queen of Wands is creativity, growth, intuition, passion, but in reverse, it's a cold energy, a jealous, aggressive, domineering energy, okay, that is a burden, okay? This Queen of Wands energy um, was a burden to your finances and um, in this energy you acted on impulse this queen of wands energy was taxing on your finances you couldn't um, manifest anything in this energy it was a burden and it caused lots of depression and um, anger and resentment in you, Virgo. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, two of swords. You're no longer at a stalemate about the situation. You are ready to make a decision. Okay, you're ready to move past. Um, the confusion and the conflict and you're ready to make a decision okay and that is to move on eight of cups toward actual happiness nine of cups ten of cups and to move forward 
with the truth and that is that you cannot flourish in this energy and that you have to you came out three different times Virgo you have to you have to it's no way of getting around it take a time out Virgo Sometimes it's necessary to take time out for regrouping and introspection. This is a temporary experience, but one necessary for growth. When I step back, retreat, regroup, and renew, I have a clear perspective on everything in my life. Time to make a decision where I go okay you already know what what has led up to this point and where you are now and it's time to move past the anxiety it's time to go within do the work it's time to recognize the calling on your life it's time for rebirth it's time for recognition of who you are and to gain a new perspective so that you can get better results moving past bad choices really transforming And this is you going within, shedding the light, getting enlightenment, and changing your circumstances to move past this energy here. Okay. Some very negative energies around you, Virgo. Okay. Nine of Wands in reverse, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Wands. Clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. Burdens. Depression. And it's time to make a decision. Ten of Cups. On finding your happiness. Because this is what's in your future. Virgo. Once you transform... And once you go within, this is what's in your future. Ten of Cups, happiness, fulfillment. But it's going to take some truth. Okay. It's going to take some time to really evaluate what it is that you want and what you plan to do with the truth that you gain or with the truth that you have because the divine is right there to help you that's what those birds are the divine is right there to guide you and give you a whole new perspective Message for Virgo from the Divine. 
a message for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the Divine for this period. Virgo. Message from the, the divine for Virgo. This is you, Virgo. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, once you go within, okay, do the work, get a new perspective, you will get through all of the loss, pain, Okay, and you will have your nine of pentacles, okay? This is like leading you into emperor mode or empress mode, okay? This is on the other side of enlightenment. This is on the other side of transformation. Your nine of pentacles. You have the strength to tame the beast within, okay? All of what you have been through has given you and will give you the strength. To. Be the king of pentacles that you are. Male or female. You will embody this energy Virgo. King of pentacles. Because you are strong. And you're powerful. Let go of the past and all that does not serve you. Let go of the past and all that does not serve you. Let go of all that does not serve you. Take time out. Four of swords. You're protected. All four corners. These are maybe your ancestors. These are just your guides, whoever. You're being protected. Okay, take a time out. Meditate, regroup. It brings us right back to you, Virgo. The hermit. Take time out. And your Ten of Pentacles. all the losses you've experienced okay you will recover once you go within and do the work and your Ten of Pentacles is on the other side of enlightenment. 
on the other side of a new perspective. And you will have the Ten of Pentacles that you seek. Wealth, achievement, family, satisfaction. Okay, Virgo. That is your intuitive reading for this period. I hope that that helped you guys a lot. And um, I love you all very much. Stay encouraged. Until next time. I love you, Virgos. Bye.